hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel and today video i'll be cooking the omena fish with you guys this is omena fish omena fish and then uh this is the agreement agreements that i'll be using today uh, i have a uh, red onions i have a uh, parsley or you can get orangery i also have garlic um i have a uh, blended tomatoes those are braided tomatoes. I have salt. I have salt. I have black pepper. I have uh, I have paprika. I also have curry powder here. And also I'll be using the red hot pepper paste. It will be nice and for a start now we can start our cook I'll be clean this to start cooking omena fish you have to uh, to clean with a uh, with the hot water in order you can remove all the bad smell and also to clean with hot water and also to remove the bad smell This is good cleaning with hot water. Like that. Clean with hot water. Like this. My water is hot, super hot to clean. Clean with hot water. And bitterness, and also to remove the bitterness inside the omega fish. Like that, you have to to remove the water, dry the water, dry the omega fish, remove the water from omega fish. And then you have to repeat the same process. Cleaning your omena fish with hot water again. I don't like the smell inside the omena, but I love omena. And also, I don't like the bitterness inside omena. That's why I like to clean my omena with hot water in order you can get a um, good taste and then you can enjoy when you're eating because omena fish is good. And when you cook omena fish to people that they don't like omena, if you don't know how to cook with it, then it's hard to eat them because of bitterness and then uh, bad smell inside. So it's good to clean with them with the hot water. After you dry your omena fish from water, Our omena is good now. We already dry them. This is the time now we have to fly our omena. We need a pan. This is the pan. Turn your stuff on. Put the oil inside the pan. the oil inside the pan and wait for your oil to be to be hot so that we can start frying our omena now our oil is ready to fry our omena you can see we're gonna fly our mana fish now. Fry your mana and 
to take some the golden in color. Keep moving your men until they are golden in color. So guys, this is our mena fish after we fry them and they are gold in color, you can see. Put them in a bowl or in a plate. Side all of them and put them inside the plate. Now we already reduced the oil. Now we are going to fry them to fry our omena fish with the same pan, but we have already reduced the oil to cook. This is our omena fish already ready to cook. Ready to cook, guys. So, I'm going to fry the onion part. After you finish fry your onion, it's time for tomato. Remember the tomato, the one we already blended. Double time. Have to reduce the stove.
and we're gonna be using one tablespoon of how to put them garlic our garlic is here garlic also Now we have to wait uh, for two minutes, then we put our omena fish. Now it's time for our, our omena fish. some water according the way you want your omena, your omena fish to be if you want your omena fish to be uh, stew or thin or strong that's how you're gonna measure in your water when you are cooking your omena fish in order you can have a good For me, I like to have a um, that way is good for me because the baby will be eating this uh, stew too so if I put a little not too much water but um, a thick water, a thick stew I mean 
that will be enough for me. This omena fish is only for two people and the baby for one year, so I think that will be enough for me. And our fish, our omena fish is ready to eat. Guys, you can serve this still with anything, with rice, with ugali, with anything. dry and also is you not know, too much wet. That's how I like my omena fish. And we're gonna serve this with any kind of food and now I'll, I'll be back with you guys. So guys this is my omena fish. It's so like this. I'll be eating together with the rice and one chapati so that's how it look like mm. this is so so good guys you can try this at home guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and also to like and comment so that every time i upload the video i can you can be able to have a non notification bell every time i upload the video have a nice day for now bye guys